Good afternoon, distinguished legislators, trustees, community college presidents, advisors, my fellow New Jersey All-State academic team members, and guests. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to thank the New Jersey Council of County Colleges and Phi Theta Kappa for inviting me to share my personal story and community college experience, and also for having given me the tremendous opportunity to form a part of this team. I was born in Cuenca, Ecuador, as the youngest of four siblings. My parents believe in the power of education and opportunity. So on September 2000, when I was six years old, they moved our family out of Ecuador when the country was undergoing its worst economic crisis, so my three brothers and I could access a good education and a stable future. The transition to life in the United States has been filled with uncertainty and unknown obstacles. It's been difficult. I have seen my parents struggle day in and day out to provide my brothers and I with basic necessities. Witnessing my parents' sacrifice, hard work, and perseverance has motivated me to take full advantage of educational opportunities available in the United States. This motivation helped me overcome the disappointment during my senior year of learning that I could not pursue any of my four-year higher education opportunities due to my family's financial circumstances and undocumented immigrant status. Refusing to give up my education and professional dreams, I explored other options, and I realized that Essex County College was my door to higher education because of their quality education at an affordable cost. Though devastated at first because my high school work seemed fruitless, my determination was renewed when I was accepted to the Essex County College Honors Program with a full tuition merit scholarship. Attending Essex County College has taught me that higher education is a privilege. I am privileged because 65,000 undocumented students graduate from high school each year, and only 7.5% actually go to college, according to the College Board, um, according to the College Board Immigration Policy Center. Reflecting on how fortunate I am for my academic journey serves as a source of motivation. This motivation kept me positive and focused when experiencing emotional strain due to the possibility of being forced to return to be separated from my mother and return to my native country of Ecuador permanently as my future was debated over the course of three years in immigration courts. In 2010, after living 10 years without proper United States documentation, my father, three brothers, and I were placed in the petition proceedings. Because our applications for permanent residency filed in 2001 had been misfiled due to incompetent lawyers mishandling our case. The deportation proceedings were not closed until June 2014, after much money was invested into another lawyer to represent us in court hearings. Having lived as an undocumented immigrant in the United States for over 13 years, I have learned that the best way to combat feelings of hopelessness is to search for alternatives and to act to address whatever makes me feel hopeless. Thus, I became involved with the New Jersey Dream Act Coalition in 2012 and I co-founded the Essex County Dream Team in 2013. For those of you who don't know, the DREAM Act stands for Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors. The Essex County Dream Team is a nonprofit, student-led organization that provides a support network to undocumented students and advocates for immigration reform policies to advance the rights of undocumented families and individuals. Part of my approach in co-founding the Essex County Dream Team was based on my involvement in the Essex County College Honors Program in Phi Theta Kappa, through which I benefit from a supportive community of scholars who encourage each other by, shares, by sharing advice and opportunities. I co-founded the Essex County Dream Team because I identified the need to expand the support network to undocumented students. The support network that I was fortunate to become immersed in through Phi Theta Kappa and the Honors Program helped me to believe in myself, to discover my potential, and to have the energy to keep moving forward despite the limitations of my undocumented status. I also want to acknowledge the support network that I found in my community college. Although I graduated from high school within the top 15% of my class, I was not a straight A student or, a, or an honor student. And I realized I had a guidance counselor in high school who discouraged me from thinking big and applying to selective and rigorous schools arguing that I would not get in. This detrimental mentality was washed away when I enrolled at Essex County College and met key mentors consisting of students and faculty who rather than questioning my capability of getting into an Ivy League school, showed me how to become a competitive applicant, encouraged me to prepare myself to apply, and guided me through aspects of the application process. 
I had ample opportunities to develop not only academically, but also personally, through extracurricular activities such as serving as the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society chapter president at Essex County College and as a member of Essex County College core strategic planning team. My successful academic journey at Essex County College paved the road to make me the recipient of several awards and recognitions, including the Jack A. Cook Foundation Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship, the 2014 Phi Theta Kappa Gus White Scholarship, and being named a 2014 Coca-Cola New Century Scholar. <coughs> Although I worked very hard to succeed in my community college, there have been many, many helping hands who have contributed to my success. To talk about one instance, when the deadline for the All-USA academic team was fast approaching, I had not received United States permanent residence yet. I was balancing many responsibilities at the time of this application process, including academics, a part-time job, an internship, a leadership position, and other scholarship and college transfer applications. I learned that I needed to be a United States permanent resident to be nominated for the All USA academic team, an application that would open the door for me to stand here before you today and to be named a New Century Scholar. I was questioning whether I should apply at first because I did not want all my effort to go into an extensive application that would ultimately not be reviewed. Thank you for your time, and again, thank you very much to New Jersey Council of County Colleges and Fighters. 